Mosh Pit, what up? Yeah, so it's PNS92, this is an RU battle, and uh, yeah, I'll not belabor you with anything else. So I'm going to lead out with Yon Mega, and he's going to lead out with the Rampardos. Um, obviously, my team is fairly rock weak, which means I'm going to need to switch, uh, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go straight into my physical wall, Cresselia, yay, Cress, everybody loves Cress, not really. But anyway, I'm going to go into Cress, he's going to head smash, and that's going to get a good amount of... Uh, De recoils on De Rampardos. So that's good for me. Um, I know everybody hates it when you say good for me, but sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to Moonlight because uh, I figured he would go for another one and I could Moonlight off everything he does. Uh, but uh, he missed it and then I think he switched after he missed. So yeah, I'm going to get the Psy Shock on the incoming Pharaoh Seed, which obviously doesn't matter. He's going to set up his rocks, which is pretty key for him because Yon is quad weak to rocks. Uh, he's predicting the fire move, and he's right. Uh, I just figured I wouldn't over predict, and I'd just go straight for the flare blitz because uh, I knew I could hit anything pretty hard. And uh, I hit the Rampardos hard, so that's good for me. Again, with the good for me. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I switch out because I figure he'll go for head smash or something, but he actually goes for the earthquake, and because of Mold Breaker, he goes through Levitate, um, which, that was cool, because I didn't even know Mold Breaker went through Levitate. I knew it would break through, like, multi-scale and stuff like that, but... Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock, just the safe one, because if he stayed in, I'd be able to kill him, and I knew he didn't have anything that was gonna be able to kill me. Actually, to crit on the incoming Entei, um, which will kind of end up mattering, uh, in the end. Uh, he's gonna sub here, predicting me to either Moonlight or probably Calm Mind or something like that, um... He's actually going to set up a Calm Mind of his own here, but it's not going to help him because I don't carry Psychic, I carry Psy Shock. Uh, so it's really not going to do much for him other than boost his Flamethrower. Um, but it's, you know, it's Flamethrower is not going to do too much on a Cress. Uh, he really, the only way he's going to get out of this uh, matchup alive and well is if he gets a crit. Uh, and I think that's probably what he was fishing for, but uh, unfortunately for him, spoilers, he's not going to get it. So, uh... I am going to be able to take out Tay Tay um, fairly easily, um, but he is, you know, going to get me down really low, uh, which sucks for me because I'm a Cress and you know I kind of like to keep Cress alive because it's can take a lot of hits. Um, uh, but here is where I make a bad play uh, right after this. Um, he's going to bring in the Rampardos, uh, obviously, because he just wants to revenge kill me, and he can go for whatever. Uh, and I switch, and I shouldn't have done that because, uh, let's be honest, um, I was going to die to a Stealth Rock switch in on Crass either way, so I just completely fought her out my Altaria, which was so stupid, because Altaria is such a good wall, I just, I was such a bad move. But anyway, I'm able to bring in Scarf, Scar, Scal, Scarf, Galvantula, hit him with the Energy Ball, and that's going to be all she wrote for Rampardos, which is really good. Uh, in comes Gal, I mean the, uh, Pharaoh Seed. Switch out, uh, obvious, is obvious, he's gonna leech seed me, um, not important. Uh, I'm actually gonna flame charge here to scout if he has the protect, cause if he doesn't have the protect, it's gonna hit him hard, and, uh, otherwise he's gonna switch out into something and I'll have plus one speed, but at this point, uh, I'm just gonna go for the flame charge, cause I know he's gonna switch, I mean the flare blitz, and I just wanna hit whatever he brings in pretty hard, and he's gonna bring in the wish cash, um, uh, and he makes a bad play here, um, because he's going to stay in, and he's going to start dragon dancing. Uh, but you can see, even though he resists that flare blitz, it still did a good bit of damage. Um, and that's not max damage. <laughs> that's min damage that I'm getting on that hit and this one. Uh, or pretty close to min damage. Um... And he's going to get this Leech Seed and all this back. I'm going to hit him here at over half. And uh, you can watch the screen at the bottom. This is not a crit. This is max damage Flare Blitz. Um, it's going to be enough to take him out. So, yeah, even though he resists it, uh, that'll do is quite a boss. So, you know, you can't really do anything against that. He's finally going to come in and just kill this thing off, which he should have done with the Wish Cast. should have just gone straight for the Earthquake. And then he could have tried to set up. Uh, but he really wouldn't have been able to, because I have two things with grass. Gallade being one of them. Uh, I'm going to bring it in. Life Orb Gallade. Hit him with the Leaf Blade. It's not going to be enough to kill. Uh, and he is going to get a Scald off and get the burn. Um, 
And I know he's going to switch here because he's thinking, why not bring in a Pharaoh Seed on a Leaf Blade? That's got to be the easiest thing in the world. So I'm obviously going to close combat on the switch. Because if he stayed in, I'd be able to kill him probably either way. Uh, I'm not entirely sure because of the burn, but I kind of assume I'd be able to kill him. But anyway, I'm able to get good damage on the Pharaoh Seed. But because of Iron Barbs, Life Orb, and then Burn, Gallade's going to go down. Uh, so I do lose Gallade, but it totally crippled two of his pokes. Or almost crippled the... Pharisee. But anyway, I'm going to Bug Buzz here. I thought it might be enough to kill, but it's not. Um, and he almost kills me the Gyro Ball. I'm able to stay alive, uh, which is really good for me because I'm going to end up uh, being able to pretty much do work on the rest of his team with Yanmega. Uh, Yanmega is really good for the RU tier. Uh, I actually thought I would be able to kill him in one hit with the Air Slash here, um, but I'm not. I do get the flinch. Uh, but the reason is because I run a timid, this is a timid Yanmega instead of a modest one. And the reason for that is uh, I just like being able to bring it in on certain things and not have to protect or detect to get up a speed boost sometimes. Uh, regardless, I'm going to be 